Welcome everyone to another mod spotlight and today we're gonna have a look at the extended workbench mod by Naruto1310. This mod provides you with a multi-block type workbench that will extend your crafting area from a 3x3 to a 3x9 and therefore give you the possibility of adding more complex recipes. This mod mainly provides new types of weapons and armor and due to their increased material costs also with improved functionalities. To build an extended workbench simply place two normal crafting tables next to each other and the mod will automatically detect it. The recipes for the different tools, weapons and armors can be looked up on the forum page linked in the description but here are a few examples just to get a better idea. An extended tool such as a pick, shovel or axe will mine 100% faster than a normal tool of the same material quality. Hell yeah, it will do a 50% more damage when used as a weapon and has 100% more durability on it. Moreover, it can reach 50% further than normal. That's freaking hilarious. An extended hoe will increase its durability by 100% as well and create farmland that takes longer to dry and turn back into dirt. Very useful. Extended swords on the other side will do up to two hearts more damage depending on the materials used in the recipe of course. It will have a 50% higher durability as well and it will actually mine blocks 50% faster. Now beware that this only implies two blocks which actually can be mined with swords, of course. Now extended tools and weapons will appear bigger than a normal, you know, badass big, but this can actually be turned off in the configuration file uh, provided with this mod if you really want to do that, but why would you? The extended armor provided by this mod will absorb more damage and unfortunately the exact amount isn't specified. It will also last 50% longer than normal pieces of armor. Now beware that even though some of the recipes fit in a 3x3 grid, they require an actual extended workbench. There's also an extended bow implemented, which actually shoots 50% faster and has a 50% more durability, but it also needs 20% longer to charge than a normal bow. Uh, note that you can actually overcharge this bow for 4 more seconds to make it become supercharged and this will actually make the arrow fly at lightning speed or twice the speed depending on how you look at it. But it will also slowly damage the bow. Uh, but it's still fun. Furthermore, we have an extended fishing rod. It will catch fish 20% faster, has 50% more durability and throws its hook 50% faster than a normal fishing rod. As a little addition, it also has a 50% chance of catching cooked fish instead of raw fish. The extended flint and steel will also last 50% longer than a normal lighter and will also create fire that will burn twice as long as the normal fire and that won't be affected by the rain, which is uh, quite an interesting point. It also has the ability to set mobs directly on fire. There's even some extended shears which will also break blocks 50% faster and uh, remember that only blocks that can be affected by shears this rule will apply on. However it has 50% uh, more durability as usual and the interesting part about it is you will get 100% more drops from shearing uh, stuff such as sheep. Uh, which still means it is a random drop but you will get the double of it. Cool. This mod also comes along with tools for orientation such as an extended map and compass. Now the map comes with 5 layers which you can zoom through using the plus and minus key. You may also upgrade your map using a diamond to put it into an auto update mode. When you right click it with this mode on it will reveal large portions of your map. So last but not least, the extended compass will allow you to have up to 5 needles at once. With a simple right click you can open up its GUI. To add your own needle you need to create a sign with the following format. Name on the top and color on the second line. Colors can be black, red, green, blue, purple, brown, cyan, silver, grey, pink, lime, yellow, light blue, magenta, orange, white or even a hexadecimal notation. 
Once you apply the information, your newly created needle will appear on your compass. Alright guys, this has been it for today's Mod Spotlight. I hope you enjoyed it and you're going to get this awesome mod ASAP. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.